What's going on, nation? Today I'm going to demonstrate for you the dumbbell pullover. Now this is a widely debated exercise, mainly because depending on how you perform the movement, you can isolate your chest or your lats. One of the key ingredients to be able to make the switch from which muscles you're going to target has a lot to do with the mind-muscle connection. This is your ability to mentally focus your energy during a set to target a specific muscle during a movement. And now what makes this even more important for this exercise is the long range of motion involved. This long period of time under tension, also known as TUT, allows you to put a larger load on the muscles being worked, and if you can't focus, you will not maximize the benefits of the exercise. But there's also some form indicators that will greatly help you as well, and we'll go over those for targeting chest and lats in today's video. But before we get started, be sure to like and hit that subscribe button. The first warm up is called shoulder breakers. To perform this warm up, simply grab a bungee and hold it in front of your body with your arms outside of shoulder width. Now lift the bungee over your head and bring it all the way back and down to your glutes. Once you touch your glutes, bring the bungee back to the front and repeat. As your shoulders warm up, increase your range of motion by bringing your hands closer together. The next warm up is called a dumbbell floor rotation. For this movement, use a light dumbbell. Lay on the floor with your back flat and your right arm extended away from your body forming a 90 degree angle with your elbow. While holding the dumbbell, begin to rotate your arm back and forth as far as you can. The goal here is to try to push through any tightness in the area, but you want to make sure your shoulder blade does not come off the ground. Remember, this isn't a movement that you force, and too much weight could cause an injury. Now that you're warmed up, we're going to test your range of motion as this will play a crucial role in ensuring you don't damage your shoulders during the exercise, especially when using heavier weight. The first test is a pull-up. You should be able to complete a pull-up with full range of motion. This means that you start each rep with a dead hang at the bottom and can pull your chin up and over the bar. If you're currently only doing half reps for pull-ups, you're destroying your range of motion and potential future muscle gains. Next is the barbell overhead press. For this exercise, bring the barbell to your chest and from there push it up and over your head. Push through at the top of the movement and fully extend your arms. Continue to do this for a few reps and if you experience any tightness, you may need to warm up a bit more or work on your overall flexibility. Now on to the dumbbell pullover. You're going to begin the exercise by laying flat on a bench while holding a dumbbell over your chest with your arms fully extended. Maintain a strong stance with your feet spread out, knees pushed out, and keep your core and glutes tight throughout the entire movement. Once in place, begin to lower the dumbbell behind your head. Keep a slight bend in your elbows and try to bring the dumbbell as close as you can to the ground without touching and then return to the starting position and repeat. As you guys can see, this movement can put a lot of strain in the shoulders, especially as you begin to lift heavier weight and that's why the warm ups are crucial for this exercise. Now, if you want to utilize this exercise to target your chest, try to focus on squeezing your chest as much as possible throughout the entire movement, especially when initiating the movement from the bottom back to the top. If your goal is to target your lats, try to bend your elbows a bit more and flare them out. Focus on keeping your hands and forearms relaxed while performing the movement. It should almost feel like you're moving the dumbbell by pulling with your elbows from the bottom back to the top of the movement. You might also feel a bit more engagement in your serratus when performing this exercise while trying to target your lats as well. 
Now that you understand proper form, there are a few more tips you can use to maximize the usefulness of this exercise in your workouts. If targeting chest, try performing this exercise at the end of your workout when your chest is already fatigued. You'll find you won't need as much weight, which will put less stress on your shoulders, and if you have a hard time with your mind-muscle connection, it will be much easier for you to enhance it at this point in the workout. Now if you want to use this exercise for targeting lats, a lot of bodybuilders prefer to do this first to pre-fatigue the lats to help improve muscle activation and mind-muscle connection throughout the rest of the routine. Now for more great tips, be sure to join us on MuscularStrength.com and if you would like to have your content hosted on our site, be sure to leave a comment below. What's your maximum output?